Hey, how is going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I might even put this on Instagram, I have no idea, but in the, as you can see by the title, I am reflecting on what this past year has taught me. Um, 2021, <laughs> been, it's had its ups and downs, I gotta say. It really has, it's been kind of a roller coaster ride. Um, it has taught me patience, for one. Um, patience with friends, family, circumstances, things you can't control. To simply just learn to let things go instead of getting angry and just getting upset about everything and just simply let things go that's not necessary. Um... Just rely on your faith. Simply just relying on my faith to that God's gonna get me through anything and everything. And despite the circumstances, despite everything, just let God be God and just get through it. Pray through it. Learn to pray more. That is something I am continuously learning to do. It's not always the easiest. But I am learning to pray through more things, let God be God and work through me to rely on my faith to get through circumstances. Um, not to be a downy doubter, but we've had, you know, a couple losses. We've <laughs> sadly, um, back in the summer we had to put our dog down, our faithful friend. There isn't a good day goodbye that we miss that little dog. <laughs> uh, Mom and I are very emotional people, so we, you know, we cry, we show our emotions, and so we're very expressionate. So it's been hard saying goodbye to our best friend. We had her for ten years. It's a long time. So our house has been empty, not having her around. Um, I thought I was done grieving over her, but I guess it just, you know, bringing up, thinking of things, it just, it hurts. It definitely hurts. Um, so mom and I have been very, um, expression about our feelings toward missing Skylar. Um, Zachary occasionally shows it, but my stepdad, however, he doesn't always show his emotions. He'd rather brush it under the rug, not think about it, so it's been, it has been hard on him, but... Hopefully he's be willing to open up more instead of pushing things under the rug and just act like it's no big deal and it really is a big deal. So it's been an emotional roller coaster for us as a family. We've been missing her terribly. Can't really look at her pictures and not think I mean there are times where you think of the good things and positive things of missing of her and then there are times that we just break down and we start crying, so those have been tough. Um, overall, I will definitely say I'm grateful um, not to take things lightly. Um, this year has taught us to be definitely grateful for the things we have. Our health has been great. I mean, three of us have been kind of had like that 24-hour bug thing. So I'm grateful for our health. We've been very blessed that we haven't had a lot of issues as far as our health problems we haven't had. We've been compromised a few times. We've had to take testing and stuff, but it's always come back negative. So I'm so grateful that God has kept us from sickness. And I really do think be, um, getting, well, simply just building up your immune system definitely helps and so we've been taking a lot of supplements and eating healthy as much as possible I'm not saying we're totally there I mean we still eat junk food occasionally but you know overall we've been so blessed that we have been trying to stay healthy and building up our immune systems and just trying to avoid things I know we can't always avoid things but nonetheless God has blessed us in so many ways that without um what else has it taught me? Um, life is short. Not to take things for granted. To be there for people. Pray for others. Um, simply be in the moments. 
take nothing for granted. Um, enjoy the moments that we have. Um, simply just be there for others and be in the moment with the Lord. Also, I believe wholeheartedly to continuously work through God or work with God and not against Him. You know, He's always there for us. Simply just live the moments. Um, keep praising Him, keep worshiping Him, and keep relying on Him and your faith. Um, that's what I've been doing, and I'm so grateful for His love and unconditionalness that He gives us. He has been so faithful. Um, simply just, yeah, just all that stuff has just been something I have reflect on. Patience, don't take things for granted. Um, be in the moment. And I'm really looking forward to the next year, this, this year, in 2022. Um, I'm going to be hitting a new decade. I'll be my 30. I'll be turning 30 this year in May. So that's going to be interesting. I'm actually looking forward to my 30s. I'm hoping the best for them. My 20s weren't... It's been a roller coaster ride in my 20s. My teenagers ugh, hated those years. Um, 20s haven't been terrible, but they've been a roller coaster ride getting through a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to my 30s. I'm... I thought it was going to be the worst. I'm like, no, it's not. It's going to be the best, probably, as far as my decade, this decade, coming up decade. Um, who knows? I think God's going to open doors for me. He's going to get through me, work through me, and just be able to, I'm going to see new changes in life. So I'm really looking forward to that. I just, I'm looking forward to this year that's coming up in 2022 and just embracing every moment that God has given me. So... I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> 2021, it's been interesting. It's been up and down. I've had people come and go in my life. Um, yeah. So I'm just grateful for every moment that God has blessed us with, you know, with even with our clients and everything, with working. It's taught me a lot. I uh, appreciate every moment that everyone has blessed me with and I'm grateful for and it gives me a new perspective and everything so yeah and then <laughs> um makes me appreciate people around me as well and see I see different perspectives of everyone's lives I know people don't think I'm very coherent and because I'm showing backwards that I don't see or hear things that go around me no, that's the complete opposite, actually. Um, once I've actually gotten over my depression and able to focus more, I've been able to hear and I do see th things. I am very much coherent of what's going on around me. I may exclude some things out of my life and be more focused on what God has for me, and that is important. But I do see things, I do hear and so I've been praying for a lot of people lately and just circumstances around me. So I do hear and see things. So don't think I am totally not in the loop. I am. I am focused. I am. I ask the Lord to please help me to stay focused. And I will continue to pray for that. Because I believe in being able to focus on directly what is in front of me. And putting those blinders of everything just surrounding me. That's another thing I've been learning this past year is to stay focused on the Lord and not everything around me. If anything, you could take my advice and start asking the Lord is what is distracting me from you, Lord. And that one of that the reasons why I've been cutting away from people and from social media, that is one of the things that was distracting me was my social media and that is one of the things I've had to learn to let go. I've had to learn to let go of people, I've had to learn let go of things such as social media. It's been a huge distraction in my life and the Lord's like, if you want to do the will, Lord, you're going to have to stay more focused on me and more 
I used to say a practical lifestyle so I've had to let people go in my life and it's been hard it's hard to say goodbye to things that brought, thought I brought me joy in life and they have don't get me wrong but I have been more focused on praying more reading the word more and just simply been more focused on what God has to teach me instead of all the voices around me versus like the world around me I'm like so I'm not totally out of this world, but I'm not totally fully in it as well. So and I think that's one of the things we've had as Christians we need to learn. Like, we live in this world, but we don't need to be of the world. We need to be more focused. We need to be on the light of Jesus. We need to be that center of God instead of being focused on every little thing that bothers you and everything that seems to be bothersome. So... Yeah, that's one of the things that 2021 and even 2020, 2020 have taught me is to stay more focused. And so, yeah. So, coming into the new year, I want to stay more focused, be more patient. And I'm just looking forward to all those pure moments of joy and peace. And I'm just looking forward to this coming up here. So, <laughs> I am ready for you 22 so here's looking at you and everything else so as always keep on smiling jesus loves you i love you um stay positive my jesus crew and here's looking at 22 2022 so wash out in my